It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to do an update. This is like a part two to my video that I did the other day, talking about the passive income platforms that I was in. I actually forgot to mention one or two of them. Um, and I just talked about the main ones that I kind of look at every more or less every day. Um, so I wanted to talk about Cairo Finance today. Also wanted to do an update on Elephant Money. And there's another one called Furio that I wanted to talk about, which I'm not in. But I have been watching it for a while and it has been performing greatly, which is why I think it's worth talking about and, um, you know, giving them the attention that they deserve. Um, drip community is one that we talked about the other day. Seems like every time I buy drip, it dips again. <laughs> but um, yeah, I am buying more drip. OK, guys, I am topping up the bag. I'm just trying to grow this, trying to get over 2000 in the short term. All right, guys, and then grow it again from there. But um, be taking advantage of the low prices. Um, I believe this is going to do well in the long term at the end of the day. Um, although I am frustrated with what the developer is doing with the ecosystem. The amount of time that it's taking to get that animal farm back on and things like that. Um, I, am, I am still bullish on the project and the whole ecosystem. I do use the animal farm too. Um, I use the drip four set. Alright guys, so um, yeah. I still think that there's hope in this project. So I put my money where my mouth is. I've been topping up and I've been compounding. And we'll see where it goes from here. I have two accounts. If we just go to the other account, actually, I don't show it much. Uh, let's just go and check out the other account. It's a smaller account. And um, let's just connect to this one. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I have two accounts. That's gone down. That's gone down. And uh, mostly what I do is just come over here and compound, all right, guys? Nothing really else to do while the price is down. Just compound, grow the accounts, and, um, you know, hopefully they will come roaring back. So I've got close to 2,000, 2,500 drip across my two accounts, which, you know, is nothing in comparison to some of the whales that you guys watch every single day. But, um, you know, it's something to me. It's paying out 1% a day, and, you know, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it grow again. Uh, at one point, I believe my accounts were worth more than $78,000. But um, with the price that's, that's gone down, okay, guys, it brings me down to I'm not even sure how much. We're looking at about $15,000 approximately across my two accounts. But um, when the price goes up, that's going to be worth a lot more. All right, guys, and the 1% a day is going to be worth a lot more. It's going to be paying out a lot more. Okay, guys, so we talked about Drip Network in the previous video. We also talked about EMP money, um, which if you'll see from the previous video, my investment has actually grown by about 30% um, because of the price of Ethereum, which has been pumping. Um, EMP is a uh, Ethereum and EMP pair on the Binance Smart Chain. Um, so you're not paying high gas fees and you can still have that exposure to Ethereum. It's like DCA and into Ethereum over the long term. I believe that Ethereum is going to grow in the long term, of course. That's a no-brainer. I think this one out of all of them right now is a, a no-brainer when it comes to, you know, uh, putting an investment in um, in the bear market and waiting for it to mature. Uh, with this one, of course, you can't just let it build up. So this one keeps you engaged. You have to come and claim or compound your rewards what at least once every 24 hours or before uh, uh 12 a.m utc every single day otherwise the rewards just roll back into the contract um you still get your full 365 percent return on investment but it's not paying out one percent a day it's paying out more like 0.6 percent a day approximately and um yeah if, if you don't claim it it doesn't mean you lose those rewards in general um, you'll still get them over over a period of time um, but it will roll over back into the pool for that day okay guys so emp money is another one we talked about we also talked about piston race and um, which i'm not in i'm not increasing my bag on that but i'm compounding we also talked about splassive another one which i've got so much in there almost uh um well let's just say i'm not increasing my bag on splassive but i am co i am compounding and i'm hoping that it will come back come roaring back all right guys the price let me stabilize around 30 cents at the moment. But yeah, we didn't talk about Cairo Finance and we didn't talk about Elephant Money. So we're going to talk about Cairo Finance and Elephant Money. And then I'm going to talk about Furio at the end, which is another bullish one that a lot of people are hyped about. So Cairo Finance is one that I did a video on a little while back. 
I mean the maximizer, which is like your detonator or your drip faucet, is paying out 1% of the up to 365%. I did top up my bag since the previous video. I've been DCAing into it, but I haven't gone heavy. Okay, guys. I have also been compounding. You can only compound once every 24 hours. So maybe every couple of days I'll compound. Uh, you can claim as well. And um, there's a timeout normally that comes up here. As you can see, it says um, I'm available to compound right now or deposit. Or, uh, sorry, or claim. Sorry. Um, but yeah, every time you do that, it resets the timer. Okay, guys. So this one, I've just been watching it. All right, I've been watching it. The price has been pretty stable within this range between about a dollar and eleven cents and a dollar for the past month. Okay, guys, it went to a peak of about one dollar and thirty-two cents. So it has been pretty stable. One thing we haven't seen is a huge dump. So that is pretty good. And it's quite stable for the simple fact it's paired up with BUSD and it has over a million dollars in liquidity even after the lows. Right, guys. So, you know, these guys are taking this project seriously. Um, one thing I will say about it is that um, they have been having AMAs, but the AMAs are not in English. They're in German. It's a German company, right? Um, and there's no subtitles. So I'm not really able to understand what's going on in the AMAs. Uh, but at least they are doing something they're doing amas and if you can understand them fair play to you if you can't then um you know we're not really getting much edification out of you know what they're doing right so it'd be good if we had you know some sort of english translation uh although a lot of time with a lot of amas i don't really pay much attention to them anyway but it would be nice to i like to tune into one or two i can kind of get a feel for the character of the team and so on but um it is what it is. No English AMA, but the project is working the way it's supposed to. It's doing what it says on the tin. They also have the farms, which are coming soon. And this is like a cross between beefy finance and drip network. If you watch my previous video, I explain all of that. All right, guys. But um, they've got a lot more coming for this project, which should should inevitably increase the TVL. All right, guys. And um, hopefully increase the price of Cairo. So uh, my deposit is 1,644 Cairo, which in essence is around $1,644, a little bit more because it's just over a dollar. Um, and it's a little bit more with the price fluctuations, a little bit less if it goes down further. But um, yeah, I mean, I've not got many referrals, but I will leave my link in the description if you want to come and join this and um, start using the maximizer, feel free. Uh, moving on to elephant money. Okay, so I haven't spoken about elephant money um, I have spoken about it once since the exploit, but um, yeah, we haven't been able to regain peg on this project. I literally just compounded some more as well. Um, I've just been compounding, right? I started off with about 15,000 trunk, which at the time was worth about $15,000 BUSD, but the price of trunk is now down to about 20 cents. Okay, guys, so it's very much off peg. Okay, needs to go up like another three, four X for it to get back on peg. Uh, but I have been listening to AMAs from Bank Teller. I've got nothing against the guy. I think he's a base dev, to be honest. He's a chess champion. He's, you know, managed hedge funds at Fidelity and so on, uh, as far as I'm aware. He's he's a smart guy, right? Just like 4X Shark is a smart guy. People are fans of 4X Shark. Uh, Bank Teller is actually a smart guy, all right, guys? And Drip is actually a fork of bankroll flow which was created by bank teller the guy that created elephant money okay guys drip is not the original i know a lot of people believe that but um yeah i'm just saying like uh, bank teller is a very smart guy and uh, bankroll flow was on the tron network trx and um most most people got into drip because they were aware of what bankroll flow was people like stunner breezy uh people like uh, thomas g all of those guys were using bankroll flow um at some point all right guys which is because they were familiar with that project and they had a relationship maybe with for it shark that contributed to the success of this this was made a little bit better as far as i'm aware i was never in bankroll flow okay guys but when people say that drip is the original that's not actually true drip is actually a fork of bankroll flow by bank teller uh, but these guys don't get on we've heard we've seen we've seen and heard the drama uh, between these guys they don't get on um but in a nutshell, I think they're both smart guys. Um, I support both ecosystems. Um, but yeah, can't really say much when it's off peg. Um, 
I do believe they will eventually get back on peg. But that being said, you can actually redeem Trunk one for one with BUSD um, over here, right? The only thing is, is there's a massive queue and it's congested. But according to the developer, bank, roll, uh, bank teller, um, it's not hard to get Trunk back on peg. But um, it's... Uh, I can't remember. You'll have to go and listen to the AMAs. All right, guys. But it's just about being patient. I think in time, this will come back on peg, potentially. And um, until then, I might as well just compound. Not really much else I can do. I can build this up. You can see the maturity is about 46K in trunk, which uh, obviously is worth four times less at the moment. But, you know, in the long term, if I just hold out and keep compounding when the bull market returns, maybe we see trunk go back on peg. Uh, even the elephant token may even start pumping again. All right, guys. I know there are a few people just DCAing into it. You know, top influencers DCAing into elephant, despite what's happened in the past. So um, yeah, I'm still bullish on the ecosystem. It's got a big community, and uh, yeah, I'm hopeful. All right, guys. So I just wanted to do an update on those. Um, let's just quickly touch on Furio. So Furio has clearly been outperforming all of them at the moment. In these market conditions right um furio actually contacted me a while back um, to talk about their project at the time they were going to launch on the polygon network it's only recently where i was made aware they actually launched instead on the binance smart chain uh, somebody said something about furio i said it's on the polygon network they say no it's on the binance smart chain i was confused because when they contacted me they their original plan was to launch on polygon around the same time as silesium was launching on polygon i stayed away from silesium and i stayed away from furio for the simple fact that the polygon network was having some major issues at the time it was very slow and cloggy i'm over that now but um i sat out of furio and uh yeah i mean a slap in the face for anyone that did see out of furio because it has been performing pretty well it's gone from about two dollars and fifty cents all the way up to about nine dollars and eighty cents all right guys so it's doing pretty well in these market conditions it launched about a month ago month and a half ago no a month ago and um in a month it's done about 4x so uh yeah 3x so yeah pretty decent pretty decent um this is what it looks like okay i'm not in it i don't have a referral link or anything like that but you guys can go and check this out um, I, f I believe that this has a uh, fluctuating APY, but it's up to 2.5% a day. Okay, guys, but it's not, you, when you get into it, you don't just get 2.5% a day. You have to work your way up to 2.5% a day. I think it starts at about 1%. And, um, yeah, I mean, I believe it's a dynamic APY, correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah, it's up to 2.5% a day. So uh, bear that in mind. Do your own research on this one. I thought it was worth giving them a shout out. You've got to give credit where credit's due because they are clearly pumping. I would never buy this right here, okay? Um, if it dips, maybe you get into Furio, potentially. None of it's financial advice. I don't have any immediate plans to buy this token or anything like that. But um, yeah, it's doing pretty well. So I just wanted to give them credit where credit's due. And that being said, it's the end of the video. All right, guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Do me a favor and subscribe uh, subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. And I'll see you in the next video.